shit. We're gonna have to cuttle this out. Oh, have we started? Yeah, whatever you say, you uh, look, no, because I messed up. Bring him back to but me after no. his errands. Or don't. Might be doing me a favor. Uh, let's turn that down. Let's turn you up. Alright. Let's do it. It's us. We're here. We're doing it. Welcome to the podcast. It's episode. Are, I'm gonna go with a 16. Hang on, let me. I'm not getting all ready. I'm going through my notes. I have so many notes. So, probably a longer episode this week just because there's like actually stuff. Yeah, there's like, there's, there's, there's a decent amount of stuff. Some of it is like very sort of quick and easy, but I'm also, we're also going to do, um, uh, Oscars as well at the end. Because they happen. Oh, yeah. Did we, did we care about the Oscars? Was that something we cared about? Yeah, I mean, we, we did, we did an episode on our predict predictions for it, so it makes sense oh. that we should, you know, come full circle. It's true, it's true. I think the Oscars are stupid. And I did make a point of going back through that episode and noting down all our choices for what we thought was going to win what. Alright. Alright. Let's, let's do this then. So, right at the top of the show, uh, Kiss 5. Apparently Sony's having some issues with sourcing, like, parts for it and stuff. Or rather yeah. deciding how much they want to charge for it. According to a report by Bloomberg, it's currently costing them about 150 bucks US to make the the um the things the the console. So if you sort of translate that and do a little bit of wonky math to how much they charge for the PS4, the PS4 cost them 381 to make, and then they ended up charging. 399 for it. Again, these are all US prices. I think it was 499 in Australia. Yeah. Which is the more important price, honestly. Yeah, so assumably, if we're doing the math right, it'll be uh, 470 retail in the States. Mm -hmm. Which is often, like, that's a hard pill to swallow. Usually, companies want to put their prices for, like, a brand new console closer to the 400 mark than the 500 yeah. mark, because they typically have a less... They, they don't have as much of a library. There's not as much of a sort of selling point. Even though all these consoles are backwards compatible, Yeah, they're it's still, like, backwards compatible why would I spend so. nearly 500 bucks on the new shiny thing when I have... The, the old, old less shiny thing, thing that does all the same oh. things. So yeah, I guess it's not shiny, is it? Yeah. Yeah, and um, uh, Sony does have mm. some kind of unfortunate history with mm. the pricing of their PlayStation. The PS3 was initially six hundred and ninety-nine dollars. I still remember when that came out, and it was bonkers. Yeah. I don't remember. And it ba like basically the PS3 didn't really sell very well at all until they did their mid-generation refresh, which was three ninety-nine. Yeah. Because no one wanted to buy a $700 console, especially when the Xbox was already out and it was Cheap considerably cheaper. I think the Xbox was like I think it came $400 or well, something. It? Dollars. Uh, it did later on, oh, okay. but not it, not like the... Look, let's not talk about the Kinect. Right? The Kinect was the uh, was a bad day. No one wants to talk about the Kinect. I, think, I forget when, but... He really doesn't. <laughs> there was a game that came out, not recently, but it did. It is a game that exists that required you to unplug the Kinect to like update it. Nice. So it was basically like that was the end of the Kinect. No one gives a fuck about the Kinect. Microsoft did. I I imagine that's why Microsoft hasn't ever gone back into like VR or anything, just because they don't. They don't want to repeat the Kinect. They would rather that something be surefire product before they start developing technology for it. Yeah, it would be that, like no one gives a fuck about. Price that, uh, I think Xbox. Phil Spencer said almost exactly that much. That like until there is like an actual product there that we can like make and it seems worth it, we're not gonna invest in VR because they've been previously burnt by the Kinect, where they it went big on the Kinect Except and it went very poorly for them. Except the Kinect was kind of useful industry-wise. 
a thing that needs to exist in the video game industry. But like, when it comes to like, animation and stuff, Kinect was pretty, pretty cool. I don't know how to get this Um, awesome. so that's, that's, that's PS5 for the time being. Uh, assumably, I'm, we should, I think they did, like the, the rumor was that they were um, targeting like a, like February for their like PS5 reveal where they would talk about like price and games and they would show off their final designs for it. But if they're still struggling with figuring out a price point for it, it wouldn't surprise me if they, they don't until they like actually know how much the thing is going to cost. Yeah. Just um, E3 is super dead, super mega dead. Oh really? So it was either time. last week or the week before. We oh, didn't they leave? PlayStation wasn't gonna. Jeff Keighley or wasn't gonna like be. Uh, yeah, yeah. We talked about how PlayStation wasn't gonna be at E3 again. Now Jeff Keighley is not gonna be at E3, and he's like, yeah. he's the go-to dude for the video games. He does the Game Awards and. For almost 25 years running, he's done like this like big Coliseum event. I think last year they interviewed uh, like Luke Smith and a bunch of people from Bungie about Shadowkeep, and it was actually like it was a really good show as well. And he's yeah. like, I'm not not running that anymore. Not interested because E3 is dead horse. And then this this I think I put in separately, but as kind of a clapback from that, E3 put out a list of all the people who are actually attending. As yeah, to sort of say, we are still relevant, basically. Uh, so Didn't they have the list they put them? out. Something like uh, that. Yeah, Didn't yeah, a while ago. A, a while ago, they leaked the yeah. like personal information of a whole bunch of journalists. Ooh, rude. Which people were less than pleased about. I don't actually know how to get this last orb, by the way. It took me like an hour to do it. So the the like biggest names that they they put out were Sega will be there. Bandai Namco will be there, who are the guys that make Dark Souls, I'm pretty sure. Take Two will be there, and these are just people that will be there, not people that will actually have like a like a show. Oh. Like a press conference. I was about to say, they'll like, just those, be those on are the still show floor. Some pretty big names. But yeah, if they're not. Uh, yeah, really Take Two will be there. there. I mean, they'll be there, like they will have stuff to show off on the show floor, they just won't do like an hour long press conference beforehand. Fuck! Sorry. Because technically speaking, those press conferences aren't technically even part of E3. They just come before and then there's three days of like the actual trade show of E3. Yeah. Yeah, so Take Two will be there, Xbox will be there, WB Games will be there, uh, Capcom, Bethesda, Ubisoft, Square Enix, and Nintendo. Nintendo Dude, that's don't, a, that's act, an don't have... Oh, yeah, they've got um, the direct. They don't do like a, a trade show. They, uh, they don't do sort of a press conference the same way like Microsoft and Bethesda do. Yeah. They, they do, the, do uh, like a half direct. an hour long direct that they put out pretty much at the same time and then they are on the show floor with stuff. Which yeah. is arguably a better choice because it's probably cheaper to do and it's way more like controllable. Yeah. And basically everyone loves Nintendo. Like the, Nintendo can, can do basically no wrong. So, you know. I don't know whether that's true. I mean, cough Wii U cough. I mean, Wii U was not the best console. It was still, like, no one didn't like it at all. I guess people did. But yeah. Interesting. So, E3 um, is more dead in the water. E3 is dead? Yeah. Dead in the water, basically? Yeah. E3 is mega dead. Good times. Um, so, f uh, footage from the new Batman film starring, uh, directed by Matt Reeves who did the Planet of the Apes films. Oh, that's cool. And starring, that. um, the Twilight man, Robert Patterson. Yeah. Uh, was tweeted out by, like, an, like, an official account, so it's not, like, a leak or anything. It's legit. They basically just, like, showed off the costume and kind of what Robert Patterson looks like in it. Does he look good? I mean, Robert, eh. yeah, does he look good in the costume? Eh. It's it's not what I imagined it would be. It's not the vision I had in my head, I will say that much. It does look pretty alright, and it is like... It's the same thing where, like... You know, in Dawn of Justice, I really didn't like Batflex's costume when they first showed it off. I thought it looked stupid. But yeah, in the film, it looked great. 
Yeah, it'll grow. Once once it's being moved around and played a play this and more mail. Who's even delivering this stuff? I ain't never even seen a post office on Pandora. Mine? That's mine. It's for me. The mail's mine. Has my name on it, so it's mine. What the hell, Tina? Yeah, um, I did see something somewhere, someone tweeted out that, like, the bat symbol across his chest is made up of the gun that killed his, his parents, and I'm like, please don't do that. That make it, makes him seem like a crazy person. Like, let's not, yeah. Everyone knows weddings are just a cash cow. No, she's not. Like, no one they ain't gonna come, but they're gonna feel so bad that they're gonna send prezos and moolah. How do we get to where we need to be? Tina, oh, right, cool. these all say attending. Ah, crap titties. <laughs> Alright, sorry. Go back in the car. No, you don't need to be anywhere. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, um... Next news. So that's that. Uh, it, the, the one they, they showed was in... was like all in red. Like it had like a red filter on it. I did see one where they strip that back and it was oh, black dude. and white it looked a lot better yeah like for i'm Justice still like League i will wait for again it's... It's like just like all over again question mark yeah the, the like the last like scene of the film is all oh yeah, yeah, like yeah, a yeah, red yeah. filter yeah, i know i know i know what you're talking about yeah it's not good it does not look good i mean it was definitely like it's fine it's whatever red's very very bad you should you should avoid filming with red if you can I mean, putting a red filter on it, um, in fact, that's probably better, but yeah, it's not, it's not a good choice. So, Birds of Prey opened and had the lowest opening weekend of any DCEU film to date. Uh, Didn't people like it, to, though? Uh, uh, we'll, we'll get to that. Alright. Because we'll I out. thought people did, but we'll get to yeah, that. Yeah, I was going to go watch it, because I heard that you, I think you said that people liked it, and I was like, oh, right, I, I did. I'm pretty sure I did say that people were about it. Yeah. But we'll get to that. Um, so it opened to uh, 3.3 million domestically, so in the US, even though it was projected to open to uh, somewhere between 50 and 55 million. Um, and then uh, 48 million overseas, taking it sort of weekend opening to 8.2 million. Uh, oh, yes, sorry, big numbers. Scratch that's, that. that's big numbers. 80, 81.2 million, which is like, that's big numbers, but that's still considerably lower than every other DCU entry. Yeah. The Korean, um, so I've it, been watching the as new I said, it did, Quinn DC I think it did initially show. review very well, but when I looked it up on Metacritic, it had a 60. Oh, okay. Which is was that on, great, so was I was like... critics or fan... <laughs> Which, which, which one was I, I don't yeah. remember. What was the fan? What was the fan reaction? Don't expect me to get I don't remember. Generally it was Metacritic. Wrong. Metacritic, I swear, is like having a moment. Like, I looked up a bunch of things on Metacritic and it was like, I can't help, save me. So I don't know what's Metacritic, going on with that. Um, and I was like, so yeah, I was like, that that can't be right. There is no way that that's right. Because I definitely remember seeing it have a higher score than that somewhere. So then I looked it up on Rotten Tomatoes and it has a 79%. Um, critic consensus on Rotten Tomatoes and an 80% um, fan consensus or audience consensus on yeah. Rotten um, Tomatoes. Rotten Tomatoes. Which is a lot better. <laughs> yeah. I might, uh, yeah, I might still go see it. I'm going to see Jojo Rabbit tomorrow. I think that might be a better choice. Yeah, 5.8 user score, which is, yeah, when when they're kind of close, then you can kind of trust the scores, but yeah. Yeah, that's Interesting. that's not great. That's an oof. I think I'm. I mean, honestly, I think it's the fact that it didn't open very well is sort of a combination of the fact that like no one really cares about it. Like that's kind of my opinion towards it. Like I don't really care about yeah. anything that it has in it or anything that's happening in it. Like even if it is good, I'm still just like whatever. Like I'll catch it on streaming or like whatever. Later, I'm not gonna right. take time out of my day to go to the movies to see it. No. Even if it was only a few minutes of peace and quiet, um, and it is also rated R as well, which none of the other DC entries have. Been. Cash stash for ya. Yeah, they could, they probably should have. Uh, oh my god, once I see it, if I see it, which I might not, which I probably will. Do we want to do this? <laughs> this guy up here? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, oh, I'll pick it up. We want to do that. You are just the person yeah. I didn't know I wanted to see until I did see you there. Did you look through the garbages for my uh, I have lost So, Anthem's back. 
Back with a brand new track. Uh, it's not back. It's just. It's, all, it's, it's more getting. alive. Yeah. Trash my echo it's more alive. So basically, after every patient, game director really EA could throw at it left, but and Rona like the player base was dead, movies, and no one cared anymore, personally. and it was over. Um, and the Christmas see, lights are still up. Over. Yeah, the Christmas oh, lights are still up. Okay. Uh, Bioware's uh, GM, I believe, Casey Hudson. Uh, came up with a blog post and said that over the next few... So, the official quote is, if I can read my own writing, over the next... Over the coming months, we will be working on a broader term redesign of the experience. Cool. Nice. Which... And this is... So, they I'm abandoned their content roadmap and everything. I'm... Look, I'm curious. Look, it is very At the very least, the like, you can, you can buy Anthem for, like, five bucks, all right? So, it's not like... It's a great loss if it's still terrible. Yeah, that's that's probably fair, honestly. Um, but yeah, I'm still probably not gonna buy it. I'd kind of, I'm kind of trying to move away from live service games if I can. So yeah, I get that. Like I feel like a, you know Destiny is my live service just... game and it's gonna be hard for any game to replace Destiny. Yeah. I, I, I'm trying to even move away from Destiny, like, it's... I, I, the more I play, I play, these, I play these games, the more I feel like, um... There's just microtransactions being shoved down my throat, which is what the, kind of, the point is. So, I'm not, like, mad about it, but... I'm just, like, I don't feel like it anymore, which is... Kind of my thing, which is probably why I'm not gonna play it. Even if it is five dollars. Look, if it's, I might buy it now when it's mad cheap, and if it's good, I think we'll we'll see something from um, EA. At they really E3. want. I think we'll see something stuff. from Anthem at their at their really um, EA Play shenanigans. If it doesn't oh, work, yeah, that's something round. else. Going back to the E3. Technically speaking, EA is not at E3 because they run their own event. But their event runs literally down the street from E3 and over the same three days. Yeah. So, so it's, it's, it's not, not there, E3, but, but it is E3. Yeah. It's, it's the same thing. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. Oh, shit. And also in that same statement, he said something that I thought was pretty funny. That um, I, I, I didn't write down the exact quote, so I might need to, I might need to pull it up or correct myself in post. But he said that we're gonna like build a team and focus on developing gameplay first, <laughs> which is like, what? What did you do last time? Like, surely you want to start with the gameplay every time. That's how game development Sh works, right? Surely you'd you'd want you want a team and then you want the gameplay and then you can sort everything else out. I don't like step one is gameplay. Maybe step two. Maybe step one is like concept story and then step two is gameplay. No, gameplay step one is pretty high up there. Step one is uh, my it's literally it. because they. They, no, 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 I'm not even kidding, because they have to, they have to tell EA, this game's going to make money. So they have to be like, this is how this is going to happen. So, that step one is micro to convince the EA board to make the game. Why are you dying? Like, just... Oh, because I'm bad at the video game, dude. Dude, it's an all-star. Apparently the Sonic movie doesn't suck. Apparently it's not. Yeah, you know, Ben Schwartz is funny. It's just, you know. So again, I, I looked this up Bad. on um, Metacritic, and Metacritic is not great. Right. It has a 46 um, reviewer score on Metacritic and an 8.6 audience score on Metacritic. Um, I don't know if Rotten Tomatoes deleted. Sometimes Rotten Tomatoes deletes old scores. They did that for uh, Captain Marvel. So you've got to kind of. This this was Metacritic. Does. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, but Rotten I'm saying that... Tomatoes, on the other hand, because I yeah. looked it up on Rotten Tomatoes as well, just out of curiosity, uh, it had a 64% and a 90% respectively. And of course, both both those scores for Birds of Prey and Sonic are at the time of writing, unfortunately, given the way that uh, Rotten Tomatoes and um, shit work, they may well be different by the time this goes out on YouTube. Yeah. So um, look them up. And they're different. Yeah. I'm sorry, but that's yeah. what they were when I wrote this. Yeah. 
Rotten Tomatoes is a little bit of a problem just because they delete scores. So generally the critic scores are the better ones to go off on Rotten Tomatoes, but um I think they delete scores because occasionally you can put down a score before the film is out. Like they'll have like a placeholder shenanigans. Yeah, that's what that's kind of what. And you can with, write a score um, before it, before the film actually comes out, and then they will usually clear. But a lot of people might have out. just been like, "Oh, here's a really really good review because now, okay? we you are know, an edge of here, here, my friend. Same. I think. Yeah, it's it's you gotta just be careful with uh, run because oh Metacritic no. kinda beats all the scores. Oh, I understand. Now. Yeah, but even in that, like, I was reading through the Birds of Prey reviews, and the too. overwhelming majority of them are like an 85 or a 90. Yeah. And then there were like two that were a 20 and a there zero. No bulbs in there. Uh, yeah. Which is like. I'm thinking I saw that jerk the fact that it has that, that like, swing of the, of the shenanigans is maybe not great, right, but it's whatever. Yeah. We could literally spend an hour debating the, the efficacy of what score aggregates and algorithms and whatever. Yeah, and look, it's, it's, go watch the movie yourself, form your own opinion. Step one. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, don't really trust those scores. Alright, so, good. Oscar nomination! Or Oscar. Yes, we actually, let's, uh, let's let's not do that right just yet. Um, we're gonna we're gonna. Am I hitting that guy? I don't break. Think. No, I don't even see bullets. All right, that's unfortunate. Okay. Now am I hitting that guy? He's dead. Oh, you just go. Good now God, now I have to edit this out. My is <laughs> Look, it's me. I'm back. This is a brand new track. God damn, making me do editing in, making me edit stuff well, out. You right. should, you should so, be editing. Visual effects. Right. Editing is what you're doing. That's your job. You know what to do. Yeah, My job is to make it harder on you. And if you don't, go replace that bulb. The, the lease, the, 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 the words are hard, alright? Visual effects. I had something I wanted to say, I don't remember what it was. Alright, so, visual effects. Alright, yeah. so we said, or rather, I said, um, Irishman, you said Endgame. Yeah. I'll tell you right I now, we were both wrong. That's fine. That's fine. I don't think Endgame would have uh, won The winner anyway. was, um, 1917. Which is what? fair. I, I think that film is brilliant. My parents, I, am famous film I mean... <laughs> Action. Sure, now I guess. It's a good money. film. I don't... Visual effects, I don't know if that's the one I would give it, but, you know, it's fine. That's absolutely... Why not? I, do, I just feel like there were better choices. Why are you punching people? Because they're glowy and crystally. It's fine. Um, so, yeah, again, the nominees were Endgame, Irishman, uh, 1917, Lion King, and Star Wars Rise of Skywalker, and 1917 was the winner. Actually, yep. I think that's how I'll do all of them. I'll give us the nominees, then I'll say our picks. I, that, yeah. I probably should have started with that. Alright, well, costume design. Know. The nominees were Irishman, Jojo Rabbit, Joker, Little Women, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. You're Little Women! Fault hunter. Wow. Um, so you are second my so costume design. Ah, I ah shit, they're not in the same order! Millions of years, thanks to you, Vault Hunter. I can never it's not Lydia. Uh, I probably like, voted for something else. Wow. Wow. 1917. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm, gonna, I'm changing my, my vote right now. Uh, so, costume design. I said Little Women. You said Joker. I always hate. Oh, I did say Joker. Joker's was pretty good. Yeah. What was the nominees? Again, the though? nominees were Irishman, Jojo Rabbit, Joker, Little Women, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Yeah, I think it's Little Women. And the, the women winner was Little Women. So I was right, and you were wrong. Yes, but I was re uh, hair and makeup? In universe forever. Nah, nah. You, you don't get to change your answers post. I, I even went out of my way to confirm that all of these my answers were, were your thoughts at the time. The highest quality cinematic yeah, but I didn't go out of my way to actually confirm that. You did. You said, yeah, I'm happy with all those choices. Yeah, but I didn't actually check what my choices were. <laughs> That's, not That's, my what I... That's not my fault at all. This is, That's this not is even what I a said. little bit my fault. Yeah, yeah, but I just changed I was it right. to say. Get over it. I just no, changed you can't, it. No, you can't do that. It's not how that works. That's I didn't know what the answer is. I don't know what the answer is, but I know it was Little Women. Maybe 
Maybe yeah, well now you do, because I just told you. you. But that's yeah, but I did before you told me. If this was an exam, you would have been wrong. Alright? <laughs> nah, I would have redone the exam. I would have been like, this is all fucked. I fucked Alright, hair up. and makeup. <laughs> no one cares, hair and makeup. The nominees were Bombshell, Joker, Judy, Malefic Maleficent, Mistress of Evil, and 1917. Dude, Maleficent. Uh, let me Did I vote for Maleficent? He said for hair and makeup. Please don't uh, say I said Maleficent. Hair and makeup. I probably you said, said Joker, I said Bombshell for hair and makeup. Bombshell is probably the choice here. And Bombshell was the winner. Yeah. See, I should have watched that film. I think it's still out. It's got Margot Robbie. Apparently it's not a great film, to be honest. <laughs> Oh, That's what I've shit. heard. That it time... seemed very Oscar baby. To Dude, me. this is suicide. Like point. just from the trailers, it also didn't seem like it. It understood its tone. Oh you, you, oh, you actually went and watched it? No, I didn't. I saw the trailer. and I was like, if you think that oh. is the appropriate tone to take for this kind of story, like, no. It's like it's it's a film about like a true story about like sexual assault at like Fox News, and they use Billie Eilish as bad guy in the trailer. Yeah, that's like, not no. a good choice. No, that is not. That's not it. I mean, that's not it at all. Look, Billie Eilish sells. You know how many people like Billie Eilish? I don't music? care that Billie Eilish sells. Doesn't mean it's not rubbish. Um, original song. The nominees were "Can't Let You Throw Yourself Away" from Toy Story 4. I'm gonna love me again. Toy Story from 4. Rocket Man. "Standing with You" from Pretty Breakthrough sure into Toy the Story Unknown. 4. From Frozen, stand up from Harriet. I think you said Into the Unknown from Frozen, but we will we will check my notes. I don't think notes. I did. Um, I don't think I did. I don't know why I would say that. The prison known as Pandora. Because it's Frozen. It's great. I probably said Frozen. I enjoyed it, um, but I also An said that lock, a lot of people didn't enjoy Frozen for all eternity. Hang on, Even shit. I need to find my. Uh, uh, if it, if Toy no. Story Stars four didn't win, like that's board. my that's my vote. It was the work right. of I don't even care. Uh, Changing it. Screenplay, cinematography, costume design, makeup, original score. Ah, original song. You said Toy Story. Yeah, get fucked. Yeah? I said Toy Story. I said Rocket Man. The winner Rocket was Man Rocket won. Man. I'm gonna love yeah. me again. I'm not keeping track of these scores, by the way, so it doesn't really matter. I don't. But I think yeah, I'm winning. Look, just by the way, I'd like to point that out there. Yeah. Look, I just went with the films that I knew stuff about, and, and like, I was pretty sure that Rocket Man was gonna win. Cause... Then why didn't you say Rocket Man? It's not my job to say Rocket Man. You already said it. I wanted to give a hot take on basically everything. I probably got everything wrong. Cause you... I don't think new. you did. I think we... I think all of us got, like, the big football wrong. Just by the way. Um... 1917 not win. Uh, original score, uh, Hilda, Hilda Gan, Gan, I don't know how to pronounce that, I'm sorry. The, the lady who did Joker. Yeah. Before Joker. Little Women, Marriage Story, 1917, Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. What was this for? Again, I wasn't listening. Original What's... score. Oh. 1917. Why not? We both said 19. You don't get to change your answer, Lachlan. That's what I just well I just I just changed it, alright? Uh fuck. I really wish I'd change these to be in a more useful order or to be in the same order Who's that Who's the winner? On. I'm I'm getting to what our choices were. Our right? choices Calm don't down. matter. They do, that's the point. No, no one no one cares about our choices. <laughs> I care. I care that I'm right. Yeah, but I don't I don't uh, give a shit. Just give me the friggin... Give me ah, the... original score. I said... Uh, you said Joker, Same I said Little people Women. not getting to the point in Borderlands build videos and you don't even get to the point in the goddamn podcast. What are you doing? It's fine. It's fine. Just so friggin... I said... Who's the winner? Fuck's sake. I said... I said Little Women, you said Joker, the winner was Joker. Yeah, get fucked. Can we... Can we just skip what our choices were now? Because they're not important. I don't think that. <laughs> All right, fine. We can skip our choices, but I went to a lot of lengths to to get those choices. Yeah, but you're taking so long. Like, why don't you have this all on your notes already? It is. It's it's all on my notes. It's just the the site that I'm reading them for is a different. Is it, they're, they're written in notes. a different order. They're written in a different order to my notes, so I have to 
Should've sorted this out. I thought they were in the same order, but they are not. Alright, production design. The nominees were Irishman, Jojo Rabbit, 1917, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I'm pretty sure I said Jojo Rabbit. I'm pretty sure I also said Jojo Rabbit. I can check! Nah. Uh, the winner was Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Fuck you! No, you're not a fan? And that movie shouldn't have won anything. I saw it recently. It's it's got issues. I'll I'll admit that freely. Yeah. Look, I'm I'm. But fully... also, I think the fact that you don't know who the Manson family is is more concerning than any of the issues in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. <laughs> no. I don't. I don't give a shit about. Yeah, it absolutely is. Uh, sound They're mixing. The nominees were people. Astrada, Ford vs Ferrari, Joker, 1917, and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I guess it's Ford vs Ferrari. I think you said winner. Ford versus Ferrari, and I said Estrada. And Astra, not Estrada. Yeah, let's let's. Dude, let's one day speak. I think I pronounced that wrong in the. In the you podcast, you've so. pronounced it wrong every single time. It's, it's, it, look, I'm dyslexic, all right. Words are hard. Mm. Uh, the winner was 1917. What? The pronunciation. Changes your ability to read, all right? Yeah. But it doesn't. What? So the winner was 1917, alright? Let's let's move on, let's get past it. Let's get, let's move. Sound editing, the nominees were Ford vs Ferrari, Joker, 1917, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker. And the winner was Ford vs Ferrari. Yeah. Yeah. Bro. I was, I think my, my reasoning for that was that cars would be difficult to mix. Yeah, I, be I believe it was. Um, but then there was like sound editing. Uh, film like, editing. Oh, is, this, is this film editing? Yeah, I, I still editing? don't really understand the difference between sound mixing and sound editing, and I'm doing a film with me, so. They're different. I can I can say. That I mean, I, I I grant you that they are different. Your can face I, is different. Can I use this? Can I go this way? Apparently not. Apparently. He's Suck. All right. Well, I tried. I gave her a hooker. All right. Film editing. The nominees were Ford versus Ferrari, The Irishman, Jojo Rabbit, uh, Joker, and mm. Parasite. What was this film editing? Thoughts. Film editing. I don't care. Uh, the winner was Ford versus Ferrari. Yeah. Best foreign language film. The nominees were Corpus Christi, Honeyland, Les Miserables, Pain and Glory, Parasite. And unsurprisingly, the winner was Parasite. Yeah, I don't think we even cared about this. Like, we didn't even really spend. Uh, much time. I think we, we like, I think Parasite. we went over it uh, briefly. Yeah, I think we were just like, yeah, this uh, it I don't was think Parasite. We did anything with any of those? Do, 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 do. Uh, do, best documentary feature. The nominees were American Factory, The Cave, Edge of Democracy, For Samer, and Honeyland. So I don't even know any of those American. films. I've American Factor. I think both of us said a major edge of democracy, though. I don't know why I would say that. I don't. I don't even think we voted on this. Yeah, we did. We absolutely did. And yeah, none of those films exist. Uh, cinematography. The nominees were Irishman, Joker, The Lighthouse, 1917, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And the winner was Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. That's oh, rude. Sorry, I lied. 1917. Roger Deakins, okay. 1917. Yeah, 1917 deserves Original screenplay? It, it really does. 1917 is a phenomenal film, and if you haven't seen it, stop watching this and go and see it. You're telling people that aren't watching this to go watch this. It's fine. Um, original screenplay was... Um, the nominees were Knives Out, Marriage Story, 1917, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I think I said, um... Knives Out. Knives Out? So I said Knives Out. Yep. Good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so, the winner was Parasite. Again, rather unsurprisingly, Parasite. Yeah. Look, I didn't watch Parasite. I'm not going to. Neither did I, and honestly, I'm kind of mad that Parasite won as many awards as it did. Not because I think it's a bad film, but because I didn't get the opportunity to see it. 
It's still, it's still on in uh, Melbourne. Well, that's why I'm gonna go to. It's not on there. anywhere in camera. I don't think it ever was. <laughs> Which is big sad. Adaptive screenplay. Sad. The nominees were The Irishman, Jojo Rabbit, Joker, Little Women, and The Two Popes. Jojo Rabbit, All Little Women. There we go. That's the I, I think I said Little Women. <laughs> Probably, probably uh, the winner was Jojo Rabbit. Tiger Watiti for Jojo Rabbit. I think Tiger Watiti he used his <laughs> one of his one of the people in his like post win interview was like, "Is there anything you would like advocate for for like rioters?" And he was like, "For it Apple to sort out their like dinky little keyboard shenanigans, <laughs> like it's awful." <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Apple is bad. All right, step one, Apple is bad. Sorry, all the Apple users. It's true, my using um, an Apple film tools phone, meta, meta narrative. Stop. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah, it's, it's bad. Yeah, he was, he was talking about like the, um, he was talking about like uh, editing programs and he was like, none of these will work on your uh, MacBook Air because you need something that, you need a graphics card that is better than a web paper towel to run them. And I was like, yeah, I feel like, Get a real, absolutely. Right. So who? Where, where's uh, the most important? The, the actually important. We're getting there. We're getting there. Let's get that. Uh, animated, Let's animated short. We'll skip over because I don't think any of us care about that. Uh, no. Animated feature film. The nominees were How to Train a Dragon, I Lost My Body, Found, Missing Link, and Toy Story 4. Pretty sure I said either How to Train a Dragon, Toy Story 4. You may have said it. Um, I feel like that's probably the case. Toy Story 4 was a winner. Yeah. I mean, I was pretty certain of that. How to Turn Your Dragon was really happy, but I don't think you could beat Toy Story 4. Like, if you're trying to go for an Oscar, don't go in the same year that friggin' Toy Story 4 is in the game. But. I feel no. that, dude. I feel that. I did not see Toy Story 4, as I say. I, I as I think I said in the episode, I don't want to pay. 14 bucks to go to Cry. Yeah. I'll do that for free. Dude, I actually did cry. Thank you very much. Dude, actually cry. It was sad. <laughs> it was mega sad. What was it was was sad. It's a Toy Story film. They're like was... factory designed to make you cry. Literally, I guarantee you, the, like, the first writer's meeting is like, alright, how do we make people cry? Yeah. It's fair, honestly. Like, if, if it works, why is it wrong? I'll do it. How, Sam, I don't know how to do this. I can see where it is. I don't know how to do it either. I don't know how to I'm get sick. it. Are you coming in here? Are you hanging out? I don't I don't know where you've gone. I was fighting bad guys and bad. reading things. Alright, director. Martin Scorsese, the Irishman, Todd Phillips for Joker, Sam Mendes for 1917, Once Upon a Quentin Tarantino for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, or Bo Jun John Who for Parasite. I believe both of us overwhelmingly said Sam Mendes for 1917. <laughs> So that's a shitty film. That's a shitty film, Sam. You want to know who actually won? Yeah. Um, Bong John Ho for Parasite. Ho. <laughs> that's interesting. You should go watch Parasite. Parasite. Apparently, it's good. I, as I say, like I'm mad that Parasite won as many things that it did because I didn't get the opportunity to see it. And like I believe that it's a good film. Yeah. But it's gonna be a long time. I don't I know where the, the friggin' explosions it. are. Where are- there's one up there. I don't, there. Know, I don't know how to get to it. Just eat it. Just eat it in the skate. Alright. Right. Is that an explosion? Right. That looks like something that blows up. Yeah, the minecart? Really? I've been trying that for ages. I don't... Um... Supporting actress. Kathy Bates Scarlett for Richard Johansson, Jewell. I think. I think that's what Laura said. Dern for Marriage Stories. Scarlett Johansson, Jojo Rabbit. Florence... Pug. Florence P U P U G H, Pug. however you want to pronounce that. Oh. For Little Women or Margot Robbie for uh, Bombshell. I believe I said Scarlett Johansson for Jojo Rabbit. I, I think we said wrong. Scarlett yeah, Johansson twice. Yeah, I, I think I said her for Best Actress and Best Supporting Actor. So, yeah, which is a bit actress. rude. So you were going to lose one of them. The ones. winner. The the it's winner, yeah, I've just told you that I, I lost this one. The winner was Laura yeah. Dern for Marriage Story, which I'm honestly kind of surprised by because she wasn't really in the film that much. But I guess, whatever. Yeah. 
Well, that's what I said. I don't think Margot. I mean, she she was in she it, and she did like good film. stuff. But she was definitely not the highlight of that film. Supporting actor Tom Hanks for A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, Anthony Hopkins, Two Popes, Al Pacino for The Irishman, Joe Pesci for The Irishman, Brad Pitt, Once Upon a Time in Hope. I think I said Joe Pesci, and I think you said Brad Pitt. Yeah, because I think I just said uh, that because I didn't want it to be the case. Uh, Brad Pitt, but Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Yeah, get fucked. Well, I didn't want it that. And he actually he used his um, speech to be like, um, like, why is there no Oscar for like best stuntman? Or best like stunt performance? Is the stunt performance good? I honestly don't I mean, know he plays a stuntman in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. That's kind of the point. Oh, yeah. Forgot about that. I, Dude, I've you have the memory of that. a mayfly. Yeah, I burnt that from my memory. Usually, if it's not important, uh, I don't want to remember it. I'm just like, nah, let's, let's not. Lead actress Cynthia Erbo for Harriet, Scarlett Johansson for Marriage Story, Saoirse Ronan, Little Women, Charlize Theron, Bombshell, Renee Zellweger, Judy. I believe I said Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, I Ronan. think I went the same route because I don't even think you said Saoirse Ronan. Pretty sure you didn't. I'm pretty sure I did. Actually, I really no, you may have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You... But I may have also said Scarlett Johansson for both of them because I think Scarlett Johansson had a killer year. Uh, the winner was Renee Zellweger for Judy. Okay, I don't even know what that. Lead actor. Oh, found it. That should do the trick. Time to load up the car. Yeah, I've, I've, I've not seen just... Judy. I don't even know, like, where or when I could have seen Judy, even if I wanted to. Give her a little pushy push, then, boy. Yeah. Alright, lead actor, Antonio Banderas for Pain and Glory, Leonardo DiCaprio, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Adam Driver, Marriage Story, Joaquin Phoenix, Joker, Jonathan Price, Two Popes. Keep after who now? I already wasted all these bandits and collected all these rifle parts. Thoughts? What? Sorry. I was listening to Brick and Mordecai. Oh my god, for fuck's sake, dude. Lead actor, Antonio Banderas, Pain and Glory. Leonardo DiCaprio, Nobody. Once Upon a Time sure in Adam Driver, Marriage Story, Joaquin Phoenix for the Joker, or Joker, Jonathan Price, Two Popes. Actually, I think I said Adam Driver because you said that he was really, really good at um, I, story. I think I said Adam Driver or Joaquin okay, Phoenix. I yeah, I think I may have said Leo just reason. because good Once Upon a Time in Hollywood needed to be jerked off, Wait, basically. Nah, that film was not great. Right. Uh, the winner was fucking Phoenix for Joker. Oh, that's pretty good. Cool. Wasn't really expecting Joker right. to win anything. Nor was I really- I, I, I got into a very- I wanted it to win. Yeah, yeah, I, I got into a very, it. very, very heated discussion. What my film class is about Joker. Just, he's an idiot. And hasn't ever been outside. And doesn't know what the real world is like. Oh yeah, well- but that is another topic for another time. All right, best picture. The is big boss fight, big out? one. Mm -hmm. uh, the nominees were Ford vs Ferrari, The Irishman, Jojo Rabbit, Joker, Little Women, Marriage Story, 1917, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and Parasite. I'm gonna change my vote. Parasite. Yeah, both of us were wrong. And yeah. I'll tell you that right now, both of us were wrong. I think we both said 1917. I I definitely. I know you. Yes. Uh, 1917. I said, uh... I want to say I said either Little Women or Jojo Rabbit. Yeah. I think you said Jojo. I don't know what... I don't know what you said Jojo for anything. I think Dude, I said... I can, I can look, I can I look I it up. I can check the tape right now. I'm gonna do it. Because I think... I think I said it for costume design. But I didn't say it for best picture. Your girl for best time. picture, you Damn, said... 1917. Tell home. Yeah, was and I said... Home. I yeah. said, but the winner but it's was 100%. Parasite. Yeah. They're like, just based on the things that I've, I've seen. Yeah, based so on like what you've already heard, it's Parasite. probably going to be Parasite. And which honestly makes me so mad. Because like, I didn't, I, I want to see that film, but it's going to be like, I'm going to have to wait till it comes out on Netflix or like DVD or something before I can see it. Yeah. Because I think it had like, it was out for like a week in camera. I still don't know if I and I didn't watch get it. the chance to see it. 
I do. I really want to see it. Oh, dude, Krieg? I don't know how long I have until it happens again, but I need to remember her. I need to oh, this remember is her face. Maybe if I can just hold on to that, someday I'll see her again and I'll tell her. Ripping jawbones off the torture meat! No, damn it. Can't believe I'm still stuck with you after all this time. Never settling until the dead bloat writhes inside my carcass. <sighs> till death do us part, huh? Terrific. Maybe we can work out some kind of shared custody situation with the... Spinax is always thirsty for the meat juice! Great. Well, at least I can finally speak a little bit. Even if it's only in here. Alone. Or at least as alone as I can get. Ugh, friends forever. Now shut up! Cool. Alright. I didn't know Krieg was bad. Krieg is supposed to be uh, Tina's dad. Dad, yeah. I think <laughs> that's the case. Um, I don't know if that, that's never been confirmed, but there is like a thing in Wildlife. There are theories. That um, kind of proves that to a degree. Um, but yeah. Go on. Go on with the. We're, oh, we're done with Oscars, aren't we? Yeah, we're done. We're done with everything. We're, it's, it's all over. That was it's it? All over, Pavlova. over. I thought yeah, there was, was way more stories. Dude, we're only like 40 minutes in. You I said it was going to be a long episode. have anything? I thought it would be, but you didn't let me do my, my back and forth with the Oscars, so it wasn't Yeah, that long. because that would have taken a million years. Nah. Because you kept scrolling up and down with your scrolling buttons. That would have been forever. That's not too telling. Nah, content. it would have been fine. It would have been okay. I, I doubt it. I don't think it would have been. I think it wouldn't have been. I, isn't there more stuff on the Discord? Surely there is. Ah, uh, there might be. Man, Jeff Healy, Birds. Oh, okay. Shit, that's it. There might have been one thing that I didn't talk about. Maybe but I know there were a couple of double ups. There were a couple of double ups. There were a couple of things that I, I put in there twice because they sort of like. Yeah, I don't see anything here. But yeah, that's uh, that's that. That's the end of that. That's it. That's us. Long. Uh, this will come out probably tomorrow. Yeah, at some point. Like Forty minutes to edit it. Probably takes longer I mean, than forty minutes to edit it. Oh really? Uh, yeah, it does. Bam. <laughs> I don't decide to change or add anything. It takes 40 minutes. It takes longer than 40 minutes, but I've got to download it, and then I've got to upload it. Well, that's not edited. Premiere, and then when Premiere con conforms it, it usually shifts its pants because it doesn't like having a file that's as long as this. That's bad. I wouldn't like a file as And then I usually, system. at the very least, watch the whole thing back. Oh. I should do that. Just, just in case. Sometimes, Generally, you know, sometimes they'll be it, like, you're like, I don't even notice this. And I'm like, oh, well, it's mega broken. Look, sometimes things break in the YouTube upload, and I don't watch it once it's been uploaded to YouTube. Maybe you should do that part. I don't know. Nah, it's more, it's more important to watch it in Premiere. Because oh, usually there are things I want to change and add and do stuff in Premiere. Yeah, that's fair. Alright. Well, that's that. Welcome to the Voice of Under Prepared podcast, and good night, and goodbye, and good morning. Good morning? Alright, yeah. Uh, well, someone we might be watching it in the morning. Don't week. discriminate. This is America.